Hi, and thanks for tuning in to the San Mateo Public Library. My name is Mary, and I will be giving you some staff book picks today. Uh, one of the questions that I'm asked often as a librarian is, I've read all the Percy Jackson books, or my kid has already read all of the Percy Jackson books by Rick Reardon. What would you suggest that I read next? So, if you like the Percy Jackson books by Rick Reardon, you probably like the Greek mythology that's a part of it, or the action and adventure, or the kid protagonist, or uh, the real world and mythological setting. So I have some books for you if you are interested in reading more books like that. The Percy Jackson books by Rick Reardon have a wide reach of books, graphic novels, and movies. There's even a Percy Jackson video game and an off-Broadway musical based on his stories. The original series, Percy Jackson and the Olympians, has four spin-off book series. These not only involve Greek and Roman mythology, but Egyptian and Norse mythology as well. Readers may be looking for more books that are set around these kinds of legends, but they feel like they want to explore other cultural myths. The first book that I'd like to recommend if you are interested in reading more about Greek myths and some Greek myths that have been touched on in the Percy Jackson books uh, is the Mick Eldery book of Greek myths by Eric A. Kimmel and illustrated by Pep Montserrat. This is uh, a beautifully illustrated book of various stories from Greek mythology. Um, there are a lot of sort of classic stories that you may have heard of, like the story of uh, this is Hades and Persephone, Echo and Narcissus, and they're told very straightforward in very clear language, but the illustrations are just gorgeous. It's fun to read aloud, nice and clear, big text. And I would recommend that if you're looking for a big, easy to read collection of Greek myths. If you're interested in reading something that is more of like an encyclopedia or something of really quick reference for Greek myths, um, we have the Greek mythology Greek Gods, Heroes, and Monsters book, and I think this is by Lady Hestia Evans, and it's this really gorgeous book, and it's illustrated with all of these little tactile little extras. It's kind of like a pop-up book, and it has all these really beautiful like maps and pictures. Um, sort of summaries of things. So it's not individual stories, but it is sort of an overview of information about um, things like creation myths and the Olympians, the origins, Zeus and Hera, and then you have all these little things that you can kind of open up and mess with. And I think that's just so cool. <laughs> So yeah, this is an individual story, but it is uh, information about the history and the culture uh, around Greek myths, and it's sort of a quick reference guide or an illustrated encyclopedia. If you're looking for stories that are more straightforward as actual telling of a story of a Greek myth, maybe there was something in the Percy Jackson book that you read that you thought was really interesting and you wanted to read the source material or just the basic idea of it, or the original myth behind it. Uh, I would recommend The Greek Myth by Olivia Coolidge. This is a reprint of a book from 1949. Um, it has some illustrations, but mostly it's just text. Um, it was written in 1949, but it is very clear and easy to read. Um, I would recommend this for uh, probably early middle school age kids who are looking for something that's 
more of an emphasis on the stories and it's broken up into a bunch of um, categories for Greek myths like um, creation myths, love stories, war stories, adventure stories, and stories uh, that, rec that uh, <laughs> detail humans or mortals and gods and how they interact. Uh, so I would recommend this for older kids who are looking to uh, learn more and kind of elaborate on stuff that was touched on uh, in the first Jackson books. If you're looking for more action and adventure books that are centered around Greek mythology, uh, I would recommend The Atlantis Saga by T.A. Barron. This is another book that's a lot like the Percy Jackson series, except it's not set in the real world so much as it is set in fantasy Atlantis. Um, it starts out as its own country. It doesn't actually, it isn't actually called Atlantis. And then uh, throughout the next few books, it starts to evolve into the Atlantis myth that we're more familiar with. Uh, so it's recommended for readers 10 to 13 years. Uh, I think this is the second book in the Atlantis book, or in the Atlantis saga. Um, and it would probably be good recommended reading for people who have already read the Percy Jackson books and know what to expect from those and are looking for more stories just like that. For more books set in a world inspired by Greek mythology, you may want to check out the Cronus Chronicles series by Anne Ursu. It is written for a similar age group as the Percy Jackson books, aged about 12, 8 to 12 years, and the protagonists are a boy and a girl who interact with Greek mythological settings that mix with the real world. The series is noteworthy for the high quality literary writing. If you're interested in books in a general mythological setting, Rick Riordan himself recommends The Secrets of Immortal Nicholas Flamel series by Michael Scott. The age range for these books is 12 to 15, and the protagonists are another boy and girl brother and sister pair. The books combine a lot of Western European folklore and includes characters from history like William Shakespeare. If you're interested in reading more books that are centered around mythology but aren't necessarily centered around Greek mythology, um, I have two books to recommend. This is the Jumbi series by Tracy Baptiste and the Kiran Mala and the Kingdom Beyond series by Sayantani Dasgupta. Both of these books uh, are recommended for people who either are burnt out on reading everything they already know about uh, Greek mythology or Norse mythology and are looking to expand uh, their knowledge of other cultures. This one uh, deals with Caribbean mythology and folklore. Uh, it has a girl protagonist and it's a little spookier than most of the adventure books, which I personally like. Um, it involves a girl and her friends, uh, one of which is a nonverbal communicator, uh, so there's a lot of diversity in her story. Uh, this one is based off of Bengali folklore, um, which, so it's Indian folklore, and it also has a female protagonist. It deals with um, the sort of fantasy of the prophecy, so if you're interested in sort of epic tales like that, uh, I would recommend uh, Kiran Mala in the Kingdom of Beyond. Thank you for tuning in. Make sure to visit our social media for updates from the San Mateo Public Library, and we will see you next time.